All right, let's bloody do this. Local law, uh, local law enforcement, local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off. The new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of the Friday Pass Red Pizza. I'll go fuck myself. I can read that. First night. All right. Uh, that's a new phone cell. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. Yeah, bro. Uh, it'll be a lot more interesting this time. Some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, then past you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a boxy what head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cam. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot. The the hell? equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off wide, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. I don't know what I'm even supposed to do. am I supposed to do? So I didn't look up anything about this game, no tr nothing, no trailers. Okay, no, I did see the first trailer, but I haven't seen any trailers after that. Uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, trying to keep this game a, a, a surprise so that when I play it, it'll be something new, you know, so I can do a first impressions on it, but not have any YouTube videos or anything shape my impressions on how I should play this game with. Or how it works, but I literally do not know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing right here. Like, this is... I don't... I don't get it. Do I still have to survive till 6 a.m.? Okay, <laughs> I guess you do. Hopefully he'll explain... Yeah. Okay. Oh, do I use my arrow key? W-A-S-D. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what the hell? Those mice? I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow the blue. Okay, I'll follow you. Wait up! Wait! I'm following you, dude!
Swiggity swooty, coming for that purple booty. Swiggity swooty, coming for that. <laughs> Error. What? Oh! That's spooky. That's spooky. Was that suit joke a reference or a foreshadowing to? Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes us feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these he, he sounds just like the other guy without the surfer dude accent. Maybe that's because it's the same person. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics what the are hell? set to turn and walk towards sound to you. This is an easy and hands-free approach. Ah! Oh, God! What the hell? What the hell is that? What is that? Who is that? To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic part Who is that? the of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in the session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. What? What is going on? My God! What the hell was that? What? What the fuck? Okay. What the hell? Where did it come from? Oh, there he is. He's right there. There's no, uh... There's no audio? Are there other, other animatronics? Oh, of course that happens. Of course that happens. Where are you, you son of a bitch? I can't see anything. Is that him right there? Yeah, that is him right there. Hello. What does the audio do? He's just standing there. He's got a Shadow of the Colossus eye. Why does he disappear like that? He like fades away as if he's like some kind of ghost or something. Just disappear there. I'll try not to scream too loud if I. <laughs> There's no door lights anymore. There's just the cameras. Oh, is he there? Yeah, he's there again. What are you doing there, dude? <sighs> oh, and he's gone, of course. Maybe five, two. Seven, eight. 
Is that him right there? Did he just vaporize? Okay, I'm getting kind of nervous now. I don't see him anywhere. Where the hell is this guy? I don't want to open this pan- okay. Okay. Why not? Why not? He's gonna be behind this goddamn thing. Oh, okay. Where is he? Oh, hi. So, who is that? Hello. Who is that guy? I've never seen him before in any of the other Five Nights at Freddy's games before. Is that... Okay, video error. Okay, okay. Let's get him. Please don't be there. Please don't be there. Please don't be there. Please don't be there. Please. Please. Okay, where are you? Where are you? I'm fine. What the hell is that? Ah! Ah! What? Hold on. What? 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 That was not- that was not real? He didn't kill me? Oh, hi. 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 What the hell? Balloon Boy. Why was Balloon Boy there? Is he there? Is he there? Is he there? Is he there? Hello? Where is he? Oh my god. I was looking at the camera like, what is that? And then, uh... What is the audio? What am I supposed to do with the audio? He's not here! I can't find him! Oh, there he is. He's right here. Uh... Ah! 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 Don't be there! Don't be there! Please! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh my god! Okay, there you go. Oh my god, how do I- what do I do with the- Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Where the hell is he? Do I have to seal a vent? Should I seal a vent? What should I do? It's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. What am I doing? Where is he? Where is he? I gotta find him. Hi. Oh my god. What the hell, Balloon Boy? What the hell? Why? Why scare me like that? <laughs> Those mouses look like sandals, like gray sandals. I can't move. After seeing my friend here laying on the ground in pieces, I'd be like, uh, no. Oh. Hi!
Oh, I got a black screen. Okay, there we go. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper speed handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. You may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. What is that right there? Or press against any of the spring is that the cupcake? Oh my god! He... Okay, the cupcake dis... There he is! If you click on him, he disappears! The other two games, yes, were scary. The first game made me panic more than the second game. This game... It makes me legitimately hy hyperventilate and, and, and panic. Oh god, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Don't be there, don't be there, don't be there. Why can't I close this goddamn panel? Okay. Oh no! Okay. That's okay. That's okay. I saw, I saw it coming. It's okay. Oh no, I'm good. I'm okay. I'm okay. I just need to find this son of a biatch. Where is he? I don't see him anywhere. Oh god, there he is. He's right there. I give up. I give up. Come kill me. Come, I'm taking off my headphones. Come kill me! Do it! Do it! Kill me! Just do it! I'm here! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! I'm here! Come on now! Kill me! I'm here! I don't even care. I give up. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> ah! Oh god, god dang it. How does he know when my vision is blurry? How does he know? How does he know? Okay, now he can't see. I'll stealthily come into the room. This game. What the hell? I kind of feel like I need to Google how to play this game just to play this game. Why would anybody in the right mind go on to terrorize themselves playing this? I mean, I guess if you like horror games, you'd go on and spend hours in this game just figuring out how the fuck you're supposed to play this, piece of shit. How the, how the audio works, how the cameras work. How to avoid that yellow dickhead. To receive a 10 out of 10 and a 4.5 out of 5 from dumbasses on Steam recommending this game, I bet. You know what? Let's go find out. Wanna see something spookier? Five Nights at DeviantArt. This game has more fanboys than Xbox, and that's pretty scary. Why do I keep buying these? I don't know why you keep buying I mean, I literally cannot stop. I have to buy Five Nights at Freddy's 4 on release date. I have no choice. Yes, these are scary. This meme has to stop. Three million out of 30. Poor fools. What the have they done? But yeah, tried not to buy it, but bad news was that I can't find the and demo. And Springtrap had to lure me into this game. W. Mustn't moan too much as usual. FNAF games always give me the big shivers and always luring me into playing them. And I can't believe this isn't the last Five Nights at Freddy's game. Asterisk. Ha ha. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 confirmed. Bet you never saw this coming in a review. 
she joking? And of course, you always got that one guy in the comment section who's always trying to spoil the end of the game. <laughs> Courage, ladies and gentlemen! Okay, the game is awesome. Really big amounts of spook. And has a great storyline. And the fact that there's... Good ending. Is really shocked. Guys, look at these. Look at these. <laughs> idiots. Oh my what god. Idiots. <laughs> 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 what fags.